small video about what I'm taking in my toiletries and also I'm gonna show you what I'm taking in my first aid kit in this video as well and then I'm gonna post a separate video um, which I can link in the description about my bag and when I'm packing clothing wise and whatnot it doesn't really seem like a lot I'm actually taking more I feel like than most people would because I refuse to give up my skincare routine yet so we'll start on this side with my toothbrush I'm taking bamboo handled toothbrushes because they're better for the environment these guys which are they're called bites and basically I'll open my drawer so you can see it they're toothpaste tabs also they don't count towards my liquid so I didn't have to worry about packing a little tiny toothpaste thing in this guy I got the three month subscription which has 248 bits in it but they also sell them in three days supplies is the word I'm <laughs> this is the solid deodorant by hey humans which is a target brand so you can see it looks like this comes in a cardboard tube this which I'll pop open for you this is called last swap but they also have one for makeup which is like a little flat piece tissues which are basically handkerchiefs and cotton rounds bring in some dental floss some makeup I have a small compact here some brushes my eyebrow pencil which is by it's called archery it's by soap and glory uh, and a little mascara as well and a blusher compact. And lastly, I have my shampoo and conditioner and body wash bars. I decided to go with bars because again, they don't count towards your liquid. These ones are by a brand called Atik, um, which is a New Zealand brand. It's woman owned. Her name is Brianne West. But lastly, I'll go over what I have in this little container. I'm sure um, anybody who is a avid traveler already knows what I'm about to say, but for those of you who don't know, when you travel on an airline, you are only allowed to bring one quart size container. It has to be plastic, it has to be see-through, it has to be sealable, and all of your liquids and creams have to fit in this one singular container. All of the, the small bottles in here have to be less than 3.4 fluid ounces crack this open real quick for you. This is what I'm bringing skincare routine wise. I also have some facial bars. Um, they're soap free though, so they won't leave your face like streaky and stuff. It works pretty similar to this, honestly. This one has a little bit of scent to it, so if you're sensitive to scent, I would not recommend getting this one. But the, the white one, honestly, I've had similar luck with that one as I had with this. I'm also going to um, use this as body lotion temporarily because this is a very small bottle. I'm taking this. The La Roche Posay facial sunscreen. Last thing in my facial routine is this guy, which is AHA BHA peeling solution. A little treatment that I'm bringing. Sunscreen. I'm using the Dr. T Super Goop. This is just the daily play, um, everyday lotion. Dr. Papa, which is kind of like Vaseline, except it's got like healing stuff in it. And some hand sanitizer. Hydrocortisone cream, so it's for bug bites. And then some Neosporin, a small little roller ball of this bombshell from Victoria's Secret. And then I'll show you guys when I'm packing my first aid kit. Okay, so this is what I'm bringing my first aid kit. And I just have it in this bag. I got a set of three of these from TJ Maxx. Safety pins here in a little container. My pre and probiotics, which is by this brand called Ray. If you only take one per day, it actually this container will last you two months anti-diarrheal medication. And this is like Pepto, basic motion sickness medication, condoms, and antacid, tablets, oral rehydration fluids. So this is like, these are like, um, like kind of like Gatorade. They've got a uh, electrolytes. I'm bringing some um, sticks like these, like dry ones that you could just add to water of uh, Gatorade Zero too that doesn't have any sugar in it. I'm bringing some cough drops and rescue pastilles. These are for anxiety. A Tylenol, a uh, little scissors, and some tissues. Um, I have some detox tea in here in case I'm not really feeling well, but I'll probably also put sleepy time tea in here, which was recommended by Cassie DePeckle. And if you don't know who she is, go look at her channel. I'm tagging her literally in this in my description. She is my number one inspiration for travel. She is an amazing woman. Follow her on all social media. She has so many awesome stories. Please, please, please go support her channel. She is an amazing person. I have some Alka-Seltzer in here for indigestion. And then lastly, I have this little container thing. 
which doesn't really clip shut anymore because it's so old. Um, gauze in here, just like alcohol swabs and miscellaneous things. also have this, which is a little waterproof container and it just has band-aids in here. Got some moleskin. Most of the equipment that was in it I actually already had, but I like that it had band-aids and moleskin and I liked the container. It was also got a little carabiner clip on it so I can stick it on the side of my bag. So that was all I got. Thanks for watching as always and don't forget to like, follow, and subscribe. Share me to your friends. See you guys later.